You're looking at two pair of men's dress shoes. Bostonian is the brand made in Italy. Here's the problem. The upper portion of the shoe has separated from the sole on all four shoes. I'm gonna glue the uppers back to the soles using shoe goo. There are other glues or adhesives that you can use to glue shoes back together like this, but I have used shoe goo in the past for tennis shoes mainly, but I also glued the heel of this shoe down several weeks ago and then the toe portion gave out and you can see that shoe goo holds it very tightly. I'm going to put a little bit of shoe goo on the inside portion of this seam all the way around. Also a little bit on the sole sparingly. And I already have a system worked out that is going to allow me to put pressure on the heel and the toe. After you put the glue on the top portion of the shoe and some on the sole and then you put the two pieces together, you're going to have to put pressure on that top part of the shoe while the glue dries. If you just put pressure on the back part of the shoe, you can see where the toe and the sole, they are not meeting. So you need pressure there. But if you just put pressure on the toe, you can see how the heel lifts up. The system I have is this metal pipe that's going to go underneath the toes of the shoes and the toes going to sit on that and I'm going to have all four shoes in a row together. Then I'm going to take a towel, lay it across the shoes. I have a short section of one by four I'm going to put across the toes another one by four across the heels. I have two 15 pound dumbbells. I'm gonna put one right here on the brown shoes and another one on the toe of the black shoes and an eight pound dumbbell to go across the heels. That will hold the toe of the upper against the sole on all four shoes and also the heel of the upper against the sole. Now before I put the shoe glue on, I'm gonna put the tube in a glass of warm water. I want that to warm up so that the glue will flow out better. About a half hour in the warm water. So let's go fix the shoes. I wanna remove any glue residue, which there's not very much of, but there will be some on the heel of that black shoe where I had the shoe goo, so I'll have to scrape that off. But the other shoes are very clean. Except for this, that's what I did. Now you also want to make sure there's no residue on the bottom side of the upper portion of the shoe and on all four shoes there is little to no residue so we are ready for the shoe goo and with the tube being warm it should flow out better at least that's the plan So there's one and I'm pressing down pretty hard and no glue is seeping out the side. So three more to do just like that. I think we're in good shape with this one as well. I'm pushing down as hard as I can and no glue oozing out of the sides. So the brown ones are done. And putting the tube in that warm water does help a lot because I've used this stuff when it was kind of cold outside and it does not flow very well. So I would recommend the warm water. I'll put some here in the middle. I didn't do that on the other shoes. I probably should have. towel one by four on the toes one by four on the heels eight pounds on the heels 15 on the brown shoes 15 on the black let's make sure the toes are pressed down all the way and the heels are down so we are in good shape only thing left to do now is wait three days it is about 18 till 4 in the afternoon on monday i'll be back at this time on thursday we'll take all this apart and see how they look it has not been three days but it has been 20 hours and i just want to check and make sure that i'm not crushing the toes on these shoes by having the weights on it and i think i'm all right i did add another eight pounds up top so i had two eight pound dumbbells on the heels I'm just going to let them cure for two more days sitting like this. Two days later, 72 hours since the repair and everything should be fully dry. I've got one hand on the upper, one hand on the sole and I'm pulling as hard as I can and it is not budging.
same thing on this side because i used the glue sparingly as you saw no glue seeped out around the edges like i mentioned earlier i saved these shoes from the trash saved about 180 dollars because these shoes now are about 90 dollars a pair brown ones are secure as well and no glue around the edges now all they need is a good polishing shoe goo when i bought this it was six dollars it's probably more than that now works on leather rubber vinyl canvas just make sure whatever you use it on is dry and clean and last thing make sure you support the toes underneath the toes using the bar like i did a broom handle would probably work but you have to be careful of that to make sure that you have contact between the upper and the sole at the toe and also soaking the shoe goo in warm water for about 30 minutes really helps it flow out better. That's it. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.